rural Uttar Pradesh, more than 500 miles southeast of New Delhi. Hospitals are scarce, and for many, health care is either unaffordable or places them deep into debt. Healing Fields founder Mukti Bosco is there to meet some of the 5,000 community health entrepreneurs the nonprofit has trained in communities across rural northern India over the past two decades. She recalls her first impressions of the area. These are some of the poorest states of the country. We've been working in the south of India, but some of the villages that we went to, it shook us. It shook our core. The poverty levels, the living conditions kind of shook us up. So that's how Healing Fields was born because I just, it was kind of soul shattering. Access to primary health care in rural India is often blocked by barriers of cost, distance, lack of education, and the dominant structures of gender and caste. Bosco realized that the emphasis of primary health care should be on prevention based around educating healthy behaviors coupled with improved access to basic care. The key to delivering this care was through women recruited from the villages. Men, she believes, were simply not suited to the task. They don't menstruate, they don't get pregnant, they don't breastfeed. Big difference. In India, as across the world, women are the carers, the nourishers, and often the educators. They need no incentive to improve the health of their families and communities. Healing Fields recruited and trained women from the villages, enabling them to pass fundamental health principles on to their neighbors. We told people about making food, about cleaning and cleaning. We told them about their hands, about making food, about cleaning and cleaning. बहुत आगे निकल चुके हैं वो लोग पहले से पैडोड का इस्तेमाल करने को हम सिखाई थी अपने आसपास में लाकर भी दी थी उन लोगों को लेकिन हमारे समझाने पर समझ लीजिए कि असी से ऊपर सभी लोग पैड का इस्तेमाल करने लगे हैं हम जब से सीएची बने हैं हमको हेल्थ के जो एसुकेशन पर वहाँ से स्वस्थ के बारे हमको मिल फिर उनको बुलाकर हम समझाएं कि माने कि जा रही है कुछ लोगों को सर बाहर जाने से किसी को कीड़ा बिछी भी काट दिया था तो फिर भी हम लोगों को सलाह दिए कि आप लोग भी सोच को सफाई करके उसमें सोचाले कीजिए सर हम तो एक लोगों को अपने तरफ से पैसा देकर उसका सोचाले बनवाया जो बूढ़ी थी उनको बनवाया � Working alongside her since the beginning, Gayatri Prashanth credits Mukti Bosco with enabling these women to achieve dramatic transformation in their communities. There are different ways that you can champion for women, right? You can fight for their rights, or you can work towards building them up and empowering them so that they themselves can fight for what they deserve. And that has been what Mukti has been doing. Critical to this empowerment is the ability to earn a living. Healing Fields community health entrepreneurs sell basic health products at affordable prices, promoting good health while supporting their families. We have built the income stream also in such a way that it is intertwined with the health aspects of our work. They don't want it for free, they don't want charity. And that was made very clear. They wanted to be treated with respect. As the Community Health Entrepreneur Network grew, it became clear that collecting health data from remote last mile villages would be critical to driving improved health and revealing the rising burden of non-communicable diseases, many of which can be treated with education and medicines at the community level. We are not clinicians, okay? We are community people, we are practitioners. 
and the way that we talk about data is different. We don't collect data for the sake of collecting data. It has to tell us what is the change that we need to bring about and how do we solve the problem. Never was such an approach needed more than when COVID swept across India. COVID to us was disastrous. But at the same time, it gave us a huge opportunity and a game changer, not just to us as an organization, but to the women and the communities. The first challenge was to provide well-resourced quarantine facilities for the migrant workers returning to their villages. We started creating awareness, building their capacity on what is COVID, how do we prevent, how to take the precautions. Starting from scratch, the community health entrepreneurs put the needs of others first. The condition was bad, so we had to go to the doctor. We had to go to the doctor in the village, and we had to go to the village, we had to go to the village, we had to go to the village. We had to go to the village, so we had to go to the hospital, but we had to go to the village, but we had to go to the village. We had to go to the village, and we had to go to the village, and we had to go to the village, and we had to go to the village, one of the major challenges was to be able to deliver simple things like pulse oximeter, thermometers, masks, paracetamol, and huge banners and posters. The solution? Recruiting local motorbike riders, providing a last mile healthcare supply chain. But the bikers' work didn't stop there. They had to also train the women how to use the pulse oximeter, how to use an infrared thermometer, how to wear the masks, and where to put up the posters. Now we are integrating them as part of our telehealth program so that they would be able to go to the villages and support the women in conducting health camps and in investigations and supply of medicines to the remote villages. Like the women she has empowered, Mukti Basco never stands still, driven by one fundamental belief. The immense possibility of change and the women at the last mile. We have just shown a path. They are walking it on their own. And if those women can take such giant strides, I feel that it's our responsibility, God-given responsibility, that we should be able to make the lives easier.